like this. Hi, Adina Jackson here, um, aka Pink Intrigue, and I just felt like doing this tag because I actually have never done a tag before on the Pink Intrigue channel, um, and I thought I'll just do it. The London tag, obviously, I live in London, so I thought it would be a good tag to do. And the first question is favorite place for breakfast and I would say I've got a few favorite places actually but um but one of them is actually the Dorchester Hotel I know it sounds really really kind of over the top but I've been there one time just I just went there for breakfast and I just really enjoyed the atmosphere and they were actually playing jazz music in there and I was like wow this is lovely um, so there's that place and there's a place called the Time Capsule on Roman Road in East London and it's a, it's called the Time Capsule because it's just it's actually um, set in the 19 I think it's the 1940s or something and it just it's, it's actually set like that like they've decorated it like that and it just looks like you're walking in from like the 21st century into um, the 1940s it's, it's really really surreal and it's not even so much the food I mean I, I've had like toast and beans and stuff like that in there and, and that's it really I haven't really had anything like really major in there but just the atmosphere is just so kind of cozy and warm and they've got wi-fi in there and it's just it's just a lovely place to go for breakfast so that be for me the Dorchester Hotel in um, Hyde Park Corner and the time capsule on Roman Road um, in Bow, East London. Favourite boots and super drug? <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, I don't really go to boots. Um, I buy a lot of my products online, but I like the super drug in Stratford, Westfield. Um, and like the one on Oxford Street as well, so yeah, in terms of the boots, um, I actually like the boots in the Blue Water in Kent, Greenhive. Actually, it's not <laughs> in the previous question, I was like, Oh, that's not really London, but whatever, it's not too far from London. Um, favorite beauty hall, um, I'm actually quite liking the um, beauty hall in um, Westfield John Lewis I actually don't like beauty halls I actually hate going there it drives me insane um, I, I find them just really intimidating sometimes um, but I generally I quite like the one in John Lewis in Westfield in Stratford because I don't find I don't feel that intimidating sort of uh, like I don't get that intimidating feeling. I find they're quite they're quite friendly in there. So yeah, I'll say um, Stratford, Westfield, John Lewis. Favorite area of everything. You know what? I like a lot of areas, um, but I'm a major fan of Camden. I love Camden. I just think it's got such a nice vibe, cosmopolitan. Um, they've got nice little cafes and bars and restaurants and everything there. So I like Camden and I also quite like Brick Lane, um, Shoreditch kind of area. It's a really, really cool, um, happening kind of area. And same thing, they've got nice, lovely bars. They've got amazing boutiques and vintage stores and stuff like that there. So I'll say Camden and Shoreditch. Favourite park for walks? Um, I actually love, 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 love Victoria Park. I just think it's such a picturesque place, especially now they've created, they've done all these like new. They did a lot of new um, constructions there for the Olympics. They've got like this Chinese um, structure, like a Japanese kind of structure. They've got like a bridge there and like a stream and waterfall and everything there. It's really tranquil, especially in the summer. At the moment, it's just like too cold, but it's really, really nice to just walk around there in the summer. And um, I actually quite like Regent's Park. 
I'm not a really major fan of Hyde Park, actually I don't like it, but Regent's Park, I quite like Regent's Park as well, it can be quite nice to go to. Yeah, so that's, that's my answer. A tip for the tube, um, a tip for the tube for me, would I would say, make sure you always have your, if you're using an Oyster card or ticket or something, make sure you always have it ready, otherwise you just cause a massive pile up, which is really annoying. Uh, <laughs> and in the summer, um, I've got three tips actually, in the summer make sure you always have a bottle of water because it can get so hot and stuffy down there that you can actually feel like you're going to pass out when you're under there, so make sure you have a bottle of water if you're um, coming in the summer and it's quite hot. Um, oh, is, is it really hot in the London? But when it does get hot, um, and number three is if you actually don't really know where you're going, make sure you have a tube back with you at all times because it can be quite frustrating to sort of because even though they do have staff around, sometimes you can't find them, and sometimes if you want to find where, find out where you want to need to go, sometimes you can't even find a tube map on the wall. Because sometimes they just they've just been taken off, or like they've but there might be loads of people surrounding it, looking, and you know it kind of holds up your journey. So just have a pocket tube map. And if you don't have one of those, just have like an app on your phone or something that's got like a tube map. Just make sure you always have a tube map. That's my answer. What would your perfect day out in London? Um, in what would it consist of? What would it include? Um. I actually love shopping, but that wouldn't be what I would, I would do. Um, my perfect day would probably consist of going on like a, a river cruise thing, like for lunch. Um, I went on one before, this place called Bateau, London, I think it was, and I went on a boat cruise thing and had lunch on there. And they had like jazz music playing and I think it was just so, oh, it was like, it was so atmospheric and uh, it was just amazing um so i'll do that and i'll walk over, walk along the uh tower bridge thames thing and i'll probably um after that go to a theater show i know it's like going into night but i love theater so i'll go to a theater show and then after that i might go for dinner um if i could get a seat in the oxford tower that would be great but if i can't then I just have to go somewhere else, like a nice Thai restaurant. I love Thai food, so a nice Thai restaurant. And if I was with like a significant other, I would love to go to a nice hotel somewhere like the Dorchester, um, or the I always forget the place, Victoria Park Plaza Hotel. Actually, or the Hoxton in um, Islington. Is it Islington? Old Street, love it. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> oh, actually, I forgot. I'd probably love to go to have a spa treatment and probably go for high tea as well. If I could fit it in, if I could fit it in, I'd go for high tea at the Dorchester Hotel um, or at the Ritz because the high tea there is just, it's, I know it is a bit pricey, but it's quite, you know, it's something to do for a treat, not to do like every day, like going down there, spending 40 pounds or whatever much it is for, for tea and cakes. Oh, another thing before I actually answer this question, um, you see the breakfasts, my favorite breakfast, place for breakfast, I've got two other places. Um, this place called the Zealand, Zealand, is it Zealand Calf or New Zealand Calf? Zealand Road Calf um, in East London. Um, and uh, the Vintage Emporium in um, Brick Lane. They do like tea and stuff. It's actually a store, but it's got a cafe there as well. It's really nice to have breakfast there. So yeah, that's my answer for that. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go for the next question. Um, favorite gallery or museum? Um, I actually really, really like the Museum of Childhood in Bethnal Green. And that's because I take my son there. So I love, 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 love that place. It's just, I've got, they've got like a nice little restaurant thing downstairs. I don't say it's a restaurant, it's more like a sort of canteen, but yeah, they've got, but they've got like a restaurant bit there. Um, in terms of gallery, um, 
I quite like the Whitechapel Gallery even though it's not a really big one and obviously the Tate Modern Gallery um, and another museum that I really do like is the film is it the film the London Film um, Museum like that place very much that's my answer Um, what's your London secret? I wouldn't say it's a secret because, and the thing is, I've got so many, so many places that I actually really love, but I wouldn't say it's a secret. Um, but it's really, really like nice to go to. Um, Greenwich Park, um, if you go there like when it's a bit dark and you go to like the top of the hill, like where the observatory is and stuff, it's really, really picturesque. Um, and the like actually the actual observatory is really 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 nice like a really romantic sort of place to go to you're into that kind of thing yeah so um that would be one of the, 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 the things that i um would say and also um if you like to kind of just go for nice long walks go to um the greenway they've got it, it's, it, it it runs through London but you can sort of reach it from Stratford or uh, Bow area kind of thing and it's sort of like you can actually walk to like Lee Valley and stuff from there but it's really nice um, place to, to just kind of walk around and another place is um, these are more sort of nature things rather than like kind of bars or clubs or whatever there's not there's another place um, in Mile End and it's the Mile End um, Conservatory um, nature conserve is that what it's called nature conservation cons my land conservation area um, and it's like a big a kind of park thing and it's got like all like ducks and everything there and it's got like a bridge and it's a really nice place to go i wouldn't recommend going there in the night but in the summertime it's quite nice to sort of walk around um there and that like, you can walk along the canal as well the, like canal that the canal that goes it runs through um all the way through like east london and it goes through to um camden and it actually eventually it leads to birmingham <laughs> if you keep walking but mm, probably wouldn't want to do that but it's really nice and picturesque like a lot of people still jogging down there and stuff like that anyway yes that's it favorite bar club i actually don't go raving or clubbing or whatever um but i do like um i like bars um a bar that i actually really do like is smolensky's and it's like a jazz bar kind of thing but if you don't if you're not really into that sort of thing then you probably wouldn't like it but um it's a nice little place to go um if you like jazz and kind of just relaxation kind of stuff like that um where else yeah i would say that i don't really go into the nightclubs <laughs> really i mean like i did back in the day and i used to go to like all in like london clubs and that but i don't really do that now when i say back in the day that's probably not yeah but i don't <laughs> i just don't have the time to go clubbing and stuff but i like like little jazz bars and little jazz clubs and stuff like that so that's my answer um Thank you very much for watching this video and who am I going to tag? I'll tag everyone really because I don't really have that many subscribers on this channel but um, anyone that wants to do this um, tag then do it. Actually I'm going to tag my sister. My sister's, my sister's got a channel here so I'm going to tag her and anyone else I want to tag I'll just put it below.